NSW, doctors and nurses of Reddit, despite knocking before entering a patient's room, what's the strangest thing you've walked in on a patient doing? I'm a hospital chaplain, I was sitting at the nurse's station in the cardiac IQ and we kept hearing rhythmic thumping coming from one of the patient's rooms. When we entered we saw the patient sitting on the edge of his bed with his foley bag in his hand, it was still inserted. Upon asking what he was up to, he told us he was fishing. Then he tossed the foley catheter bag away from him across the room. When it hit the end of the tubing, it stopped and fell to the floor, noticeably jerking his penis underneath his gown, at which point he pulled it back in, like a fishing line, and proceeded to repeat. The nurse, a grizzled old navy vet, chuckled and asked how the fishing was. It's good, the nurse tells him to stop or he'll hurt himself. He doesn't really want to, but eventually we talk him into it. After we get him back in bed, the nurse asks if he has any pain. The patient responds that he never felt better. As far as I know he didn't go back to his fishing though. Altered people do strange stuff, but at least he didn't rip it out or do any serious damage. Uh, this is where I close Reddit and look for something else to do. At a retirement home for elderly folks with severe dementia, there's this one guy that is always silent, but cheery, always smiling, waves when you acknowledge him. One day, out of the blue, he stops me in the hall and raises his finger toward a room with the sternest scowl I have ever seen. He says, in the deepest most movie trailer narrator voice I have ever heard in person, this. This is the room. Upon entering the room I found that he was directing all of the wandering residents into this room and had like 4 people crammed into this little studio unit. I walked into a quadriplegic gang banger with the worst pressure ulcers I have ever seen. Lower back and both hips had bones completely exposed. Septic wounds. All of them getting a lap dance from his underage girlfriend who was topless. Rubbing herself against his flaccid fully cathetered penis. I stood there for a second, turned around and closed the door trying to understand what I had just seen. The girl got dressed and walked past me as fast as she could and when I entered the room again the patient just said with a grin she missed me doc. I walked into a quadriplegic gang banger. I misread this as I walked into a quadriplegic gang bang and it blew my freaking mind. Not super strange overall, but unexpected. Labor and delivery unit, saw from the main monitor at the desk that one baby's heart rate had stopped tracing on the fetal monitor. It happened sometimes with position changes during labor, so we went in to go readjust. Patient is just sitting there cleaning the just born baby off with the sheets. Looks at us like nothing is wrong. Didn't even ring her call bell. On second thought, I didn't need you guys. Thanks for the expensive hotel room. First internship in a geriatric ward, me and a fellow student walk into a patient's room, who is screaming like crazy, he was known for having serious dementia, we open the door and my student colleague gets a warm handful of crap thrown right in his face, needless to say I was quite surprised, but happy I missed the brown rocket. Woman giving her husband a BJ, except that she was the patient in the burn unit, admitted after a flash fire from pouring lighter fluid on her barbecue. All the hair on her face was singed off, her face was super swollen and red, and we had caked on antibiotic ointment all over her face to treat her burns. Talk about sloppy head. What can you say, the guy's got a ghoul fetish. Paramedic. I'm not sure I even know what strange means anymore. Walking on a dude with a left hand full of poop and a right hand full of his dong that he is furiously jerking. Sigh alright man. Just make sure you get it in the toilet when you're done. Still jerking. Which yes. I've seen more weird crap in the field than I have in the hospital. Except the wine bottle in the ass and the pen in the dong. Same guy. Injecting H into his neck. It was weird, because he had a PICC line, but he still went for the neck. The patient was admitted for a 6 week course of antibiotics for an infection caused by IV drug use. We had to keep him in the hospital for the whole 6 weeks because he couldn't go home with the PICC due to his habit. Good guy junkie, protecting his line integrity. Work labor and delivery one night. This younger, about 16-17, girl was in labor and had pregnancy induced hypertension. She was in the room with her boyfriend when we heard him scream. We ran in there to find her giving him a blow job, which isn't all that unusual in hospitals. But see here's the thing, if blood pressure gets high enough, people will have seizures. And when people have seizures, they tend to bite down very hard. 
We had to basically pry this girl's mouth away from his penis. I am a police officer. We were going to calls at a hospital for a dispute. Waking through the halls of the hospital I heard someone yell officer help help. I walked into the room that the yelling came from and there was a little bald fat man master. Baiting violently and just looking deeply into my eyes snickering. He tricked me. Walked in on a patient's wife giving him a hand job while he had a catheter in. He looks at me and says son you never waste a hard on. I'm not a doctor but a few years ago I went to visit a friend in hospital when I walked into the wrong room and witnessed a patient peeing into their own mouth. I was so shocked I just slowly took a few steps back and quietly left his room. There might be a little morphine left in this urine. A patient was in the middle of committing suicide by jumping from the 5th floor window. Several steel beams lay on the outside ground beneath. The patient had ripped out his catheter and had broken the first of two glass layers in the window when I found him. He was standing on a dinner table with cut up feet. I don't know how but I lifted him down from there as if he were a stubborn child. He had been operated upon for a subarachnodal hemorrhage and was confused. Ripped out, his catheter, I think my penis just retracted into my body. 15 year male with abdominal pain. His cardiac monitor starts dinging vtach. Looked convincing on the ghost monitor. 2. About 3 nurses and a doc caught him masturbating. I had a patient who kept pulling his IV line out because he said he couldn't get up and move around while attached to the IV pump. He had done it a couple times a shift for a couple days, and he was a hard stick. I told him he needed to use the call button to ask for help unplugging the pump, etc. If he needed to get up. I also sternly told him that, under no circumstances, was he to pull the IV out of his arm again, he needed the fluids medications, etc. Well, a couple hours later I walked by his room and it looked like someone had been slaughtered in there. The bed was soaked with blood, blood was spattered on the walls and the furniture, and there were pools of blood on the floor leading to the bathroom. I went into the bathroom, and there he was. Standing at the sink washing his face, with blood pouring out of the IV tubing that he broke so he could get up. I quickly tied the tubing to stop the bleeding and he seemed dumbfounded about what the big deal was. Looking right at me and saying you said not to pull the IV out of my arm, right? We once had a patient with borderline personality disorder in the ED. He pressed the nursing call button and positioned himself standing on the end of his bed. Bent over, hospital gown pulled up bare ass facing the door. When the nurse walked in and pulled aside the curtain, the patient let out a blast of diarrhea that splattered all over the poor. Shock nurse. Not a doctor but paramedic that spent time working in the IMCU early in my career. I was monitoring patients telemetry, basically like watching an EKG for 12 hours, and noticed how recently tracked had a hole cut in his neck to allow him to breathe. Patient's heart rate was increasing and he was having abnormalities in his EKG that were not resolving. Paige the nurse and she knocked on the door and upon entering found his wife riding him hard. She was like a deer in headlights and then slowly backed out. It was hilarious. Definitely was not expecting the guy's wife to be having sex with him while he has a new trach. But hey that's love. She could put her finger in the trach tube and make a new form of S&M choking. Two teenage girls in a children's hospital for sickle cell were in the same room together and were discussing the nice things their pimp bought them. One girl had received a nice handbag and the other one had received something less nice. They then, after more discussion of their pimps, realized they had the same pimp causing the girl who got worse things to try and steal the other's handbag saying that she deserved it more or something. This led to them fighting and pulling out each other's central lines. Bloody mess. But one of my favorite stories. Got to love Oakland. An addict injecting her own fesses into her IV line so she could justify staying in the hospital longer to con someone into giving her dilaudid. Sex. Terminal patient banging her boyfriend in the hospital bed at like 7am. Can't blame her. Second place. Patient in the process of falling out of bed trying to reach a box of donuts and some fried chicken she had hidden under her bed. I think she also soiled herself when she hit the ground but I can't remember. Dang. Sad sex. No poles in the patient's room but that didn't stop them from getting a lap dance from a lady who was clearly not wearing the nurse's outfit because she worked there. Definitely watched this pee before. 
Definitely walking in on a patient with a blood pressure cuff around his neck and pumping it to see how high he could get it before passing out. It was interesting to say the least. Embarrassment ensued. 1. Parents having sex on their hospital bed while their 15 year child, the patient, is sleeping. 2. Child putting Play-Doh in the Jackson Pratt right after having a liver transplant. 3. Nurse kneeling in front of a teen patient, had the patient's back to me so I couldn't see what the nurse was doing, and the patient says yes that feels good this way, turns out she was only changing the bandage on his ankle. 4. As I opened my patient's door I can only see the doctor dancing on furniture. For the uninitiated like me, a Jackson Pratt drain, also called a JP drain, is a closed suction medical device that is commonly used as a post-operative drain for collecting bodily fluids from surgical sites. The device consists of an internal drain connected to a grenade-shaped bulb via plastic tubing. I walked in on two ladies getting it on. I apologized, told them I'd give them a few minutes to finish up, and come back later. I'll give you a few minutes to finish up. Stands in the corner. Dot. Go on. Working in Neuropsych the strangest thing I have walked in on was a fully cognitive 18 year old male having sex with his biological mother. The sex was consensual and they both seemed to be enjoying themselves. However needless to say the mother was denied a private presence and given limited visiting hours after that. That mother sucker. I had a patient with dementia who constantly carried around a bible. Apparently, I resembled her daughter and she would call me by her daughter's name. Every time I walked into her room she would scream at me for fricking that boy and hit me with her bible. It was an interesting shift. I am a student midwife. One of the midwives I have worked with walked in on a couple having sex in a private room in an attempt to induce labor themselves before the doctors could get at them. They didn't even notice. It's okay, it's a medical procedure. This is Pizza Cat. He looks for people like you to befriend and give them the gift of unlimited pizza. This can only be granted if you comment pizza plz if you are new to the channel. You can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.